In this tease math example, we're going to look at a word problem involving percentages. It's dealing with money. Now, if you check out tease math live session number 13, tons of percentage problems. But looking at this one here, we do have multiple choice. Let's break this down step by step. First things first, Alexander, he wins $1.2 million. That's $1,200,000. He pays 30% in taxes. And then he's going to do some other stuff. So these first two steps, we are finding how much Alexander's going to pay in taxes. You take 30% of, which means multiply by 1,200,000, he's going to pay $360,000 in taxes. There is a faster way, but assuming you did it this way, which is what most students will do, once you find that $360,000, subtract that from the winnings, Alexander will have $840,000 left after paying taxes. Now let me go ahead and throw a fast way into this. Instead of you taking 30% and then subtracting it, think about it this way. If Alexander pays 30% in taxes, he gets to keep the remaining 70%. Think about that. And if you take $1,200,000 and multiply it by 70% instead, you jump straight to the $840,000. Just wanted to throw out that little shortcut there. But continuing the problem, $840,000 after taxes, Alexander goes and buys a car. That's 50 grand. Subtract that off. He has $790,000 after buying the vehicle. Now, these last two steps here, he takes that remaining money after buying the car, invested in day trading, and earns 5% from his investment. That's a gamble there, but it turned out pretty good for Alexander. If he earned 5% of the $790,000 that he had left, he earned $39,500 in that one day of day trading. But let's be careful here. Look at this question. After one day of trading, how much money does Alexander have? Now, if we look back at the answer choice, it's $39,500. I just mentioned that value. That's just the amount he earned from his investment. That's not what the question asked, though, is it? $790,000? We did see that value, didn't we? That's what he had left after the vehicle. But to figure out the amount that Alexander has after that day of day trading, let's take the $790,000 that he invested. He still got that. Let's add on what he earned from that one day of day trading Alexander now has 829,500 bucks. And as an added bonus, earlier in the problem, we did look at a faster approach up here with finding 70% of his initial winnings. There's actually another place you could do it down here. I'll let you sit here and think about this, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. If you take $790,000 and multiply it by 105%, that will take you straight to this final answer here. Why? I'll let you sit there and think about that. If you have a question about it, drop it in the comments.